Tommy from the Athletic. There's a lot, lot that he set up there. Uh, the Clay thing, I raised my eyebrow uh, for a variety of reasons. The contract, there's been a lot of chatter yeah. uh, by not Clay himself, by other people, you know, on in media talking about his contract status. I have a hard time thinking that he's not going to be in a closing lineup. That doesn't mean that like situation doesn't dictate that there's an off chance, you know, that that he's out of this. We act like everything's like forever. Yeah. Like, yo, know, you don't play in this game, you're never playing again at well, the end. We critique the Niners and say, hey, these are some concerns, and oh, you guys are panicking. Oh my God, you guys are panicking. No, it's like nobody's look, panicking. No team is perfect. No, you know, no, nobody's panicking. Right, but I I look at the Clay thing, um, and not to go full transition into the Warriors here, but just. It is delicate. Like it's the same thing with Draymond last year. Like you're balancing like his desires and wants as a player, the respect level that he's earned, and the equity that he's earned within the organization. You know his hierarchy within the organization versus you know trying to win that given night, and not disrespecting the individual and not losing him emotionally for the year. And there's the contract element. No. There's just a lot that you're juggling no. there. No, the finishing thing. I'm telling you, everybody keep focused on the starters. It's those last five minutes in a close game. Why are you smiling? Because that's what it's going to come down to. And I, I'm just, you know, when you talk to people inside of basketball, uh -huh. like for the fans, and I get it, I'm a fan too, and we all want to see who's in the starting lineup. Number three, Chris Paul. Oh, he's starting. And everybody, <laughs> but that line is going to play for like four to five minutes. Yes. And then there's going to be all if these that. rotations, second unit, yeah. different combinations. They may end the first half with a combination of Sarge, Kaminga, Steph, Wiggins, Draymond. Who knows? Who knows? You like that, huh? That I combo. Did, there's well, so many different combinations. I like to Sarge run. a lot. I love Sarge. I, I think perfect. Sarge, like watching the first two games, well, I'm not trying to like lose my right. mind over preseason. No, Sarge, Sarge is going to be fits. a good fit. He is fit. I, but the last five minutes, yes, and it's nut cracking time. Yes, and you got a guy who's going to the Hall of Fame and Chris Paul and Klay Thompson. Yes, and, and Klay Draymond. Thompson's won championships with this team. And if he's not on the floor in the last five minutes of a close game and they lose, Clay, where did hurt for Drake? Clay, Clay, you're Clay uh -huh. there's going to be some moping. There's no doubt there's going to be really? some moping. Absolutely. Moping? If they lose, if they yeah. lose and he's not on the floor, yeah. he's like, I've been that trusted but agent. I, but I would understand that point of view because if I were him, I'd feel that way. For I've, Chris Paul? I've earned, no, not even Chris Paul, just anyone. Like I've earned community. that equity. I've earned, yes, I've earned some equity. I've earned so. some leeway. And I think that it's, it's very difficult. The mirror is the last to know when it comes to superstars who aren't as great as they once were. Like, you know, looking in the mirror is the hardest part, right? Yep. But, Clay can still be effective. He still does bring value. He's not washed. He's not done. No, he's not. No one is saying he's done. And Whoa. but there might <laughs> be not. a particular matchup that doesn't fit him well. <laughs> I wouldn't say everybody's not saying he's done. But but no, <laughs> not everybody's saying that. No, no, not you. It's not just you. It's a lot of people who say Chasky's right. Clay's washed. He's terrible. We've got to deal with that all season long when he goes three for twenty four in the game. I never said. Find me the quote where I said Clay is washed. Yeah, I, I don't want to do Nick Castellanos here. And the question is, <laughs> by the way, why are we afraid of just saying that? Like, look, the, the all the internal candidates are not very good, and no other team would hire them. Why are we afraid? But why are we afraid to say that out loud? Like, if they said, "Hey, we're interviewing Joe Shasky for the managerial position," everybody would be like, "Why? He's not qualified." <laughs> I don't want to do Nick Castellanos here. And the question is, uh, Alyssa Nakin, God bless her soul. It's not just her, Kai Correa to and her. Albert too. It's not fair to her. It's not fair. Come on, this is a big boy market. What are we doing, Farhan Zaidi? Look, and my motto is, it's not too late. It's not too late to give him the old pink slip. Where's this going? You're going to allow a guy who's on a one-year deal right now to hire the new manager to San Francisco Giants? Steven Vogt. Like, You're going to give a first-time guy at Steven Vogt. Steven like, Vogt. These people that want Steven Vogt. Right. What the hell tells you that Steven Vogt even knows what he's doing? Right. I, I, and look, he might be great. There's been a lot of examples of guys who have That's an Oakland A's hire. Let's just say it. He's <laughs> running his team like the Oakland A's. I, I, the Giants aren't the A's. I, I agree They're with you. They're not the A's. I totally agree. We're big boys. Look at who's dominating We're, in the playoffs right now. <laughs> Grizzled vets. Right. Rob Thompson, baseball lifer. Dusty Baker, I'm just tired baseball of, lifer. No, I'm just tired Fauci. of the Giants being ran like a, a small market team. We gotta, we gotta find these players in within the margins. No, 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 no. That's not how we roll. That's how the A's roll. That's how the Rays roll. That's how the Royals roll. We're the Giants. 
I, we're supposed to roll like the Dodgers. I agree. We're supposed to roll like the Yankees and the Red Sox and the Cubs. I'm with you. So let's stop. The, let's stop. That's where it starts. Stop running this team like the Oakland A's. I, I agree. Get that out of here. The analytics, the clubhouse they built for the analytic geeks who are on their computers playing like fantasy, get them out of here. It's not too late to fire Farhan Zaidi. Here's it's the, not too late. Here's the problem about the whole you're running them like the A's. The A's brought up good young players, and those guys yeah. were good. You know, you like, know, that's the big di- the big difference between the A's and everyone like, look what he did with the A's. Yeah, look what Billy Bean did with the A's. Do you know, do you I mean, know, Billy Bean. Look what Andrew Friedman did do you with know the that Dodgers. Farhan, Stop telling you know, me that Farhan it, did yeah, those yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, and hey, by the way, I'm, I love... I love the whole Farhan. We're going to get back to the Niners and the Warriors I'm sorry. in a second. But you know what? Not that we're But here. I was triggered by here. the like, no, no, no. We're going to look at the internal candidates here. who lost the clubhouse. No, 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 no. Alex no, no. Wood was popping no, no, no. off about the yeah. staff. Alex Wood and Ross Alex Stripling. Wood. A Ross no Stripling. one. Ross Stripling and everybody. But here's the funny part about it. <laughs> I love how you triggered. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm, just, I'm well, about that now. I'm just about that now. Let's roll to sleep and get into Farhan's ID for a second. Listen. Blood <laughs> used to tell me all these days, you know, he was really the one running the Dodgers. You know, all these people, uh, the Farhan stands. Does he even have a stand right now? Number one. Number two, the Farhan stands. He really ran the Dodgers. He was he was credited with the run. Drafting this player, that mm-hmm. player, this player. And he developed Justin do, Turner. Do you know Farhan Like he Zaidi? taught him the high leg Do you kick. know Farhan Zaidi was also responsible for trading Jordan Alvarez for a catcher that we can't even find on the milk carton? He traded Jordan Alvarez. Wait, he didn't have plus power in the minors, so we didn't really think he was going to pan out. All he's done <laughs> is become one of the best sluggers we've seen in the last he, 20 years. He looks like Carlos Delgado yeah. on steroids. Yes. That's what he looks That's like. That's a great call. He looks like Pedro so, Serrano from Major League, so, except left-handed, so, so, hitting absolute tanks. So my message is, while we talk about Baller. the 49ers, I love while him. we talk the Niners and the Warriors, and they're, they're, they're in the big boy business. Yes. They operate like a big boy market. They operate like they they operate like a big boy team, and they go out there and try to win championships. All right, they try to win championships. What are the Giants doing? It's not too late to fire Farhan Zaidi. I want my team back. This is a big market team. We're not the Oakland A's, folks. We're not the Tampa Bay Rays. Stop platooning every damn night. You see the Phillies? Are they platooning? No. Are the Diamondbacks platooning? That, that, that was a real DH, by the way, leading yeah. off that game. Yes, a real one. Yeah. Not Jock Peterson. Yeah. A real one. Yeah. Guy who hits 40 bombs. And the question is? Dude. A guy who hits 40 bombs. I mean, not 14 bombs. 40 bombs. And, and also, did you notice that they made one of the great shrewd acquisitions, both the Rangers and the Phillies? Look at who they have up the middle playing defense. Uh, not you only, tell yeah. me if defense matters. Uh, what about their uh, What about their lineups? Do their I mean, lineups change every single day? Did you see that? Do, young they, guy? do they know Evan Carter's, Evan Carter's the other day? Oh, yeah, I know. Evan Carter, Josh Young. Yeah. That's who they got in the yeah. future. We're, go alongside Corey Seeker, we're, Marcus Simeon, we're Josh here. Heim, Nathaniel Lowe, and the Garcia Did kid who's in a home run derby. They got seven dudes <laughs> in their lineup every single day as going to be there for the next five years what do the giants have and and by the way since we're here and i know i got to read the legal and since we're here there's another thing that they've done and i want to get back to get the damn names off the back of the cream <laughs> jerseys now because three years ago you said well bonte you, you don't know any of these players the fans don't know these players they're new players we got to get the new stop all that stop all the crap because you can't sell those jerseys no. nobody's walking into the Giants dugout store buying a Mike Schuster is, 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 is anybody going no, in there no, no. to say, ooh, this Austin Slater looks good on you. Do you have a 2X in Austin Slater? Do you have a 1X in Austin Slater? Hey, you know what? Nah, nah. Forget the Dawson. That Jock Peterson jersey looks really good. Oh, what number is he? Who cares? We don't even know. Get the names off the back of the cream jerseys because what Farhan has done, Slater. he's he's ruined the clubhouse. He's took away all the banners, yes. all the pennants, yes. the history of the Giants is erased in that clubhouse. Erased. How do you do that? You go to Levi Stadium, you go to the Warriors, there's pictures of Chris Mullen, there's pictures of Will Chamberlain, Mitch Richmond, all this stuff. The Giants erased all that. He did. All of it. All of it. Bonte, is it the fact that Bochi is facing Dusty in the ALCS that's triggering no, you? I don't even care about that. I just... I wake up this morning. Because watching the Phillies kill it no, with their team back to back years dude, and, and loading I'm up in, in uh, I mean, the I'm barely even watching the playoffs. I'm laughing. I I'm watched the first it. inning of the Phillies game. I said 2 nothing. That game's over. When Schwarber and Harper went yard at the bottom of the yeah. first inning, I said that game's over. Craig, it's done. Craig Kimball still got it. Still got it for some reason. I mean, so, so you get that, right? You got that going on. 
these guys ruined a top five jersey in baseball by putting names on it and trying to sell it to us. Well, we don't know who these players are. Well, maybe you get some players who we could grow to love. We can't grow to love Mike Yastrzemski. He's not going to be here in the future. We can't grow to love Austin Slater. You want me to go in there and buy a Tyro Estrada jersey? God bless his soul. He's a he's a solid player. Ain't nobody walking down to Third no. King buying a Tyro Estrada jersey. So then you ruin one of the best uniforms. So if you ruin my uniforms, <laughs> you introduce these stupid ass City Connect jerseys. You you got all these platoons. You got one starting pitcher. You got a bunch of dudes claiming that you got a Phantom IL, and you got Alex Wood popping off who can't go five innings. It's not too late to fire. For Hans Heidi. Get it done, Greg Johnson. Buster Posey, I, I you need to go for me account. Get this guy out of here. I'm watching these playoff teams with real major league lineups. And allowing their pitcher to go longer than the analytics tell you in Nathan Avaldi <laughs> last night. I don't know. Avaldi's always available, always here for the playoffs, always somebody's four starter balling. We don't even have two starters. We don't even have two starters. We don't even have two. We don't have two starters. We don't even have a lineup. We don't have a lineup. I know. All right? They got, these, these teams, even the Braves got knocked out. Their lineup is so much better than ours. Hey, B, I can't believe I was saying this, but I was talking with somebody the, uh, yesterday. I'm not going to say who this person is. A person who followed the team. Our hot Jordan Alvarez. <laughs> he, goes, he goes, look, and we both agree. I'm like, look, I'm not the biggest Aaron Boone fan, right? I'm not. I'm not, I don't right. think he's a great manager, but I'll give you this. He's got a pulse in the dugout yeah. and clearly like is competent and has some credibility. If the Yankees fired Aaron Boone today, I would hire him. We are so down bad when I'm looking at this candidate list. I would take Aaron Boone in a heartbeat no, you know because you need credibility you know, instantaneously. You know what I think it is? It's not only the PR hit. that they're, they're trying to get some good PR by interviewing Alyssa Nacken, which is tacky on the Giants for doing that. That's tacky. You're going to put it out there. Hey, we're going to – you know damn well you're not hiring Alyssa Nacken. You know she has no shot at that job, which is unfair to her. Shame on Farhan for that. For doing that. For putting her on blast like that. Shame on Farhan. But you know what it is? I don't think any manager wants to come here and manage under Farhan. So it's like, the, it's like the Jed York uh, after a Harbaugh situation. Yep. Yeah, I don't think where, anybody Where they to had to here. overpay multiple times to get a coach. They're looking at this job and they're looking at this I think it's division. Worse. And they're saying... Yeah, we got no shot against Arizona. We got no shot against the Dodgers. We got no shot against the Padres. I actually think it's worse because, at least to Jed's credit, he was like, here, you run my team. Yeah. When you come here, it's like I'm running the team, yeah. and you're in the dugout doing what I want you to do. And, and, and as, I'm telling you, I would just put the put the iPad in the dugout with a speakerphone right. and just let Farhan make all the moves next year. Yep. I don't even want a manager. Put Farhan in the dugout in a uniform and let him tell. I want him to go out to the mound and tell Logan Webb, Logan, You've reached your pitch limit. I'm taking the ball out of your hand. Right. Imagine Logan Webb's reaction. Right. I don't think a skipper wants to come to San Francisco right now and manage under I this guy. Onto it. And I think this presser that he had, where Lovman and Mark Willard and myself were at, and we attended, we're there strong. Are you grandstanded? Well, yeah. Well, well he said I was paraphrasing. <laughs> I'm totally hey, listen, teasing. I, he said I was paraphrasing. I was actually reading his quotes word for word. Directly. I just broke it up. Just because it was so long, so I tried to break it up. And I knew he was going to come at me like that, which is why I had something on deck for him. And he still looked like a fool. Listen, <laughs> that presser has not aged well at all. When I go back and watch it, I said, come on, this guy ain't it. Well, like I'm watching Bob Myers and ESPN. I was like, man, that guy has it. Yes, it. Mike Dunleavy, I think he could potentially become it. The I like Don Levy. He's Niners, personable. The Niners whiffed on the number three pick and played them a couple of games and went out and it was like they took every right. single question. Head coach and GM. Yep. This John guy Lynch. couldn't even. He couldn't even let you read the the quoted his quote his, his quote. quote that nobody called him out about. Idiosyncratic. Where's big part of idiosyncratic crap? Giants. As you're listening to 9570 Game KG, we'll GFMNAC, Los San Francisco, always yeah, live on the free Odyssey app. Don't forget, you can also watch us every day on YouTube and Twitch. Sponsored by our very good friends at First North, First North Cal Credit Union. Just log out of Search 9570 Game. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Listen, San Francisco Giants, Greg Johnson, Buster Posey, Larry Bear. Is Greg in the country? Are you even here, yeah, Greg? I, 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 listen, it's not too. Late, the fire for Hanzaidi. You are you really gonna let this guy hire the next manager with one year left on his deal? Do you really trust 
for Hans Heidi to change his ways and change his philosophy? Giants, I'm going to say it again, and I'll say it every single day we talk baseball. It's not too late to fire Farhan Zaidi. You really think they're going to turn it around in two months in the offseason? Like, get out of here. It's, yeah, it's, it's over. So, it's so. We're not the Oakland A's, folks. We're not the Oakland A's.